Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday. I am your host, J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sam Publishing. Hey, y'all. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. Uh, welcome. Uh, we're back for another one. I can't wait to get into this wine with you today. I think I have something that's really, I think it's very, very uh, special. Um, and it's just because of like what I've been reading up on it and stuff. And also, uh, spoiler alert, I have tried it before. Um, it is a, a wine that we're offering at Eno Wine Bar right now. My, the the um, establishment in Union Square in San Francisco that I'm the wine director at. Um, and so, you know, I'm, 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 I, 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 I like this wine enough to be like, I want to taste this on camera in front of you guys and review it. So I've not reviewed it yet. I've had it a couple times. Um, but the first time I had it, it was good enough to be to make me want to put it on the list. So um, I think we should uh, really get right into it. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, though. And um, also, I haven't done this in a while, but for the people who've been rocking with me thus far, who've been like in my comments, engaging with me on the questions of the days and all that stuff, I do appreciate you. I could not do this without you. And for the people who are brand new, I hope to get you in the comments. Hope that you you know I continue to follow me and continue to watch my videos I do it every week uh, wine Wednesday and a wine still of the week at the end of the week so uh, if you have any questions hit me up and um, I'm open to grow too so if you have like um, you know suggestions or whatever please hit me up with that too I do listen uh, I'm not gonna take everybody's suggestion but I will listen so anyway with that being said you're not here for all that you're here for the wine so let's get into the wine Today we are in, we're talking about Pinot Noir, right? You, I haven't done enough Pinot Noirs. I know I get it all the time from people. Um, I love Pinot. I just, you know, there's so many other grapes. I like to try other stuff. And in California, we're spoiled. So, you know, I uh, like to try other things that people probably haven't had. Uh, but we, today we are talking about, and forgive me if I screw this uh, pronunciation off. It's uh, the Anasurma. And this is uh, out of Santa Cruz Mountains, 2018 Farmer Vineyard uh, Pinot Noir. This is the Vitis Jennifera. And um, yeah, um, after I'm done with this, I'm going to get into the winemaker because um, it's just, it's interesting. It's an interesting little fact behind the winemaker. Um, after I tasted this wine, I heard the story. I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. So anyway, let's get into it. On the nose. So I immediately get like... Um, kind of wild strawberries i'm also getting definitely some um some uh perfectly ripe red cherries going on here too wow this also has some raspberry going on here too there's a little bit of a spice on the fin like as a secondary coming out there's also a new leather car smell going on here which is interesting so that spice i'm getting uh i was getting originally is kind of like a nutmeg thing that's popping out yeah that's pretty much what i'm getting this is like a, a uh, like a red fruited forward wine on the nose. This is a lot of berries going on here. And also, again, there's that cherry that's kind of like a, um, it's kind of battling it out with the strawberry, who's uh, the leader of this show. Um, there's something else I'm not picking up on the nose, but it's here and I can't put my finger on it. Hopefully when I take it on, take it on the palate, it, uh, um, it'll show me. So anyway, let's talk about it on the palate. Cheers. This wine is delicious. Yeah, delicious. Um, has some earthy notes too that's now kicking in. I, I wasn't catching on the nose. Yeah, this wine is delicious. Um, so you're getting, it's uh, more on the cherry side, but it's also more cranberry too. There's like kind of this um, raspberry, cranberry, strawberries kind of gotten kicked out. Maybe I got it on the nose, but on the palate, I'm getting more of like the, the, the um, cherry, um, cranberry, and raspberry going on here up front and um, it extends to the finish but the cranberry starts to kick in a little bit more in the mid palate to the finish here the acid is I will say medium plus here there's great minerality on the finish here too um, it, it opens up with fruit 
But as it gets uh, further down the mid palette to the finish, it gets a little bit more structured. You're getting, and a little bit more complex. You're getting like some green herbs in the mid palette. You're also getting, like I was saying, a little bit of spice kick in the third quarter to the finish here. This has a very long finish. Um, it does not dip in the mid palette at all. It's very refreshing because of the acid and the minerality, but you're also getting some lushness of like California fruit. This is delicious. And it's light. I mean, you see the color. It's like light, if you can see the color. It's pretty light, which I like uh, for my Pinots. I hate sometimes when they get a little over extracted, they get really dark and deep. And you have to be a master winemaker to pull that off with me. This one, this is where, where I, this is the pocket that I like to sit in. It's just lush. I love this. And I love this, this, this minerality here. This is a beautiful wine. Highly recommend it. It's elegant. Um, the, if I was to score this one, I have to go 91 plus. Yeah, I'm gonna go 91 plus on this wine. Um, this is just delicious Pinot Noir. And I'm a little disappointed because the reason I said I was gonna discuss the winemaker after, um, the winemaker's name is Jennifer, um, her name is Jennifer, um, Leslie. Stay tuned, Wine Wednesday will be right back. Hello, I am Jayton Gunter, sommelier and wine lover, and I'm back doing events. So whether you were a corporation or a private wine event planner, hit me up, DM me, and I will see you my pricing. Cheers. Now back to the show. She's no longer making wine. And when I tasted this wine and I found out she was no longer making this wine, I really wanted to just get in the car and drive down to where she lives. I don't know I don't know where she lives. I've heard she's moved uh, from up here to, you know, down south somewhere. And I wanted to get in the car and drive down there and knock on the door, but like, please don't stop making wine. We need more winemakers like you. This is delicious. Like, I'm telling you, this is a great wine. And if you're listening to me, Jennifer, I don't know you, <laughs> but I would love if you got back into making wine because I tried some other stuff from you, from your, uh, from your portfolio and it was, they were delicious. So anyway, if you guys want a glass of this amazing wine, come to Eno Wine Bar, check it out. Um, it's a really, really good price for California Pinot. And um, yeah, I would love to see you. So I'm here for all of that. Um, let me see, question of the day. I don't know if I've asked this before. I'm talking about Pinot. Um, if you had to pick between Oregon in California, what's your favorite place for Pinot Noir? And this is going to be polarizing question. This is a polarizing question, so I apologize up front because I know there's going to be people, people who are very passionate about Oregon, Willamette, and other places, and people who are very passionate about California. So um, I'd love to get your feedback. Um, guys, until next time, cheers. By the way, that fruit that I was trying to get that I could not put my finger on was pomegranate. I'm getting quite a bit of pomegranate on the palate. There's juice, pomegranate, and it is delicious. It just adds more complexity to this wine. Um, again, go grab a go grab a bottle. Cheers.